these kind of like gravel beds that are near the river a great place to find um, um, slingshot ammo. Because these rocks have been kind of like softened, not softened, but rounded. Um, because they flow through through the river, they constantly get bashed around um, on other rocks. It slowly gets rounded off on smooth surfaces. So there's a ton of slingshot ammo through here. And the nice thing about slingshots is you don't need perfectly round or perfectly pointed, perfectly straight um, ammo. It can usually just be a rounded rock and you'll be in business for about 10 to 20 yards and it'll be accurate. So, I'll find my ammo and then start the video. Hey guys, welcome back to From Strive to Thriving. Um, I'm going to redo the slingshot video I did like a year ago or less, like a f six, seven, seven months ago um, because it was done with a bad quality camera. But I'm just going to re-explain all that stuff. So if you already watched that one, then you don't necessarily have to watch this this one because it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to cover most of the same things. But I just gathered rocks from the um, stream and basically going to go over all, all the basics the two basic ways, or the most pop popular ways of shooting a slingshot, is um, go going like this, tilting it, and this is the way I do it. Um, basically, you tilt it and you put the this top prong on, on your target. So, they, so say this is the target, you put the top prong right here. You know, it's aiming right at the target. The other way is going like this, and you you put it, you put the target right here. Right in, in between the two prongs. This way is sideways, and you put the target right here. And this way is oh, up and down. You put the target right here. So I like this way better, just because I think it's more precise this way. Because this is a smaller space than than the middle. And when you hold it for a while, you start shaking. See so like that, and your and your shot moves, and you can't really tell what's the middle. But this, it's always always right here. But anyways, um, also you stand like um, parallel with your target or per perpendicular. Your target's that way. You stand with your feet, your two feet facing this way, and your target's that way. Same, same with a bow. But um, to pull back and shoot like this. Also make sure the slingshot is completely um, at a right angle to to the band. When you shoot, it can't be like this or like this because that'll break the bands. Also, it won't be as as accurate. Um, and what I did to mine is I customized it a little bit. I put a sling on it. So when I shoot and I, I need to reload, I don't have to put it down or put it um, or like put it in my pocket. Just hold it and it's always right there. So, I'll do some stump shooting, which is, um, I do that with bows too, which is going around in the forest or in, in the field, wherever, um, basically where, where there's stumps, and shoot at them at different yardages, yard, yardages, um, and so that perfects your instinctual shooting, um, so you don't just, so you don't get trained when you're training yourself um, to just shoot at 20 yards or 30 yards or wherever you normally shoot at. So you go through and you get a instinctual shot so, so you never um, over aim or, or under aim on your targets. But um, also the correct way of holding it is like this so that your thumb and your in index finger wraps around the stone so that it doesn't come loose so that's quite secure and just one um, twitch of the th thumb and the index and it's free. Now also you need to be consistent when you pull it back if you pull it back to your mouth or your eye or your nose wherever you mark on your face you can do that each time bam 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 so that um, your shots are never different powers and different um, types of, of aim so I'll do some stump shooting and I'll bring you, you along so stay tuned. So we found our first target, 
this stump right here. Um, and I'm about, I'll count it out. One, two, three, four. Roughly 15 yards away. So that's a pretty substantial shot. I do have a river stone. Um, pretty round. Not too round though, but I'll shoot one shot. Put it far away with me in front of it. You see that? See? Put the top part on the target. Aim below it. Shouldn't have done. Shoot one more shot that way. I somehow aim a little bit above it. Got it. Now I'll do a shot zoomed in. Another advantage to having um, machine made ammo is that you never have to change according to the ammo. You never have to change your aim according to the ammo. So um, that's really helpful. The reason why I missed the first time is because usually I aim at this range, I aim straight at the target, but I had a heavier rock. Um, so that. So it didn't, it um, dropped a, a lot more than usual. Try and hit that for you on the first try. And that's about the size of a small game animal, a raccoon, a possum, a rabbit. I don't know, it's not working. This one might curve, it's a lot, it's a lot worse. Nope, still got it. Kind of clipped the side of it. Try another shot, just to see if I can get it straight on. Yep, straight on hit. So, there you go. So, go and find our next target. Turn around, there's more stumps this way. Oh, I see it. Try and avoid the sun with it. But this time we'll be a lot further away. Just need, need, need to find a clear shooting path. My target is that stump right there. Right there. Um, I'll try and... I think that's a lot further away, so this, this will be a challenge, but... Okay, fine with that. Zoom in for you. Actually, no. All of one far away shot. I'll quickly count it. It's roughly 20 yards away. The other one's 15. The other one was 15. So, do a far shot for you guys. Don't have a very clear sh shooting path. I'll move over here. I'm still right next to the camera. I just moved so that branch wasn't any, in my way. Nailed it. Now I'll do one for you up close. Hopefully you can see the shot when I shoot it. And if I hit it in the lower portion, then I'm pretty sure it would be a kill shot for a for rab rabbit or something. The higher portion, um, technically I could still kill some sort of begin with that, but I'm aiming for the lower portion, so. Yep. For another shot. Hopefully, I'll hit it. Oh, that one really curved. Uh, that one was a smaller one. One more shot. Feeling this. This one's going to curve too. Not sure though. Oh, yeah. 
it really curved now for some reason. But I did hit it that one time, so we're good. Okay, so as you can see, here's the stump here. Um, it's pretty rotten. I can take off chunks easily. But I'm just going to fire a few rounds at it to see how well these, um, these, these stones hit. I'm going to be at around 10 yards. Now I kind of have a challenge of the day. Um, I, there's a there's a end of a log way back there, and it's about the size of, of, of a rabbit, of a rabbit's kill zone, and I'm going to be firing from, from around 25 yards, roughly, um, and that's a long shot, for, especially for a slingshot with non-man-made um, bullets. You can use, be using these bullets. This one's a piece of gravel. This one I'm going to fire first because it's not very good. Um, this one's river stone. It's a little bit better, but it's still quite irregularly shaped. This one's the best one I have. This one's pretty decent. So um, We'll take two shots from far away, and then if I don't get, um, get either of those, then I'll zoom in on... Um, I'll zoom in on the stump and try and shoot the third one. But I'm also going to try and do a high shot. Uh, I have a tree stand right here, so I'll put the camera in the tree stand. But um, the stump I'm aiming, you know, I'm aiming at is around right there. That little black spot right there. So Pretty clear shooting range or lane. Like I said, it's about 25 yards. I'll shoot the worst one first. It was low. I'm going to try, try to do the high shot now. So my target is right there, the end of that little black spot. I think, hopefully. Um, and I'm gonna be standing right by the sapling. So, watch carefully. Keep in mind, I have two shots left. So, thanks for watching this slingshot instructional video. I use this slingshot. I don't like the arm guard because it, it restricts my aiming. And I like aiming the way I want, but um, thanks for watching. Remember, don't shoot toward house, houses or, um, or dogs or cars or chickens. And some, some of those rule, rules apply for bows too. Like the stump shooting, that really helps for bows. Just make sure you don't lo lose your arrows. Um, and the stance is, um, applies to bows. But I'm going to do a ancient weapon, or no, basically, it's going to be mostly ancient weapons. But I'm going to build a whole bunch of primitive hunting tools that you could build with just a knife in the, will in the wilderness if you get stuck in a situation, see which one is the best for hunting game. So, um, 
you know, most likely the game will most likely be geared toward um, rabbits and the smaller game like opossum and raccoon. But um, mostly, I'm gonna build all of it and I'm gonna test them all, like how e easy it is to build, how much time it makes to build, how much finger or how much um, dexterity you need to build it. Um, and I'm just gonna build it with a with a knife or just an axe, e either one. But um, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a several part series, or sub subscribe for that. But um, thanks for watching and bye.